now. What my ob objective is to get a piece on top here. But I don't want it this thick. I don't have anything thinner than this. And it's difficult to cut this. It's not easy cutting. It, on a one inch piece, it's easy with a scissors. But this thick stuff is hard to deal with. So, what I want to do here is get pieces home insulated here because this stuff will move, you know, and cover up all this squareness here, which I don't like. Alright, what I did is I put a piece of metal, kind of like hold this in and get this middle part. Secured in here. And then what I do start a hole here so I can get my screw started. And I'll hold that in against the foam rubber here. Oh man, I can't see the damn screw slot. So, what we've got here now is, see this foam rubber gives, so I can put more in here and it, it won't really go into here. If it does, it isn't going to hurt that because it's, you know, it squeezes in. So I mean, if I shoved a little in here and cut it off, it's not going to cause any problem. The legs can only go up to here anyways. And this will be where his belt buckle will be. And what I want to do is to pad. I want to pad the back side. I can't really use this. This is this would be a little much. I really need to have a thinner piece for here. I don't want to pad this. But if I pad this and I don't pad this, it, it's going to tip over forward. I need to keep this level. So. It's probably 12, 15 pounds now. Well, Tommy isn't here to hold these up, but uh, uh, I think we're going to have enough room that we can put, I think we can put the padding in there. We just got to squeeze the pants onto them. Well, it don't look too good right now. It's very hard to tape this stuff, you know, trying to keep it down. I can put staples in the top here, which I've done, into the plywood. But. In here, it's difficult to hold it down. I have to put all kinds of tape in here and over this way and everything. That Once the pants are on, it'll hold everything in place. Now, I want to keep this flat, so I have to make it this way. And then in the front, I want to be able to do something like that, too, when I have to cut another piece out of the big, thick stock there. Okay, that knife just wouldn't do it. You gotta have a serrated edge. That's the only way you can cut foam rubber. But the problem is you got pieces, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of little pieces of foam rubber all over the place. But this is the only thing that'll cut it. It's rough too. serrated edges, but serrated edges is the only way you can cut this stuff. Now, 
I have to do is get this trimmed up here a little. It's not quite bulgy in the middle, but so I don't really get the pants on but there's too too much material there. Try to get it about two inches thick. We gotta cut it here. We need a slit in here so that the leg can move a little easier. And in the middle part here, where we want to work with the tape, right here. Just put a little mask uh, duct tape from here to here. Things can still move. Right. Now what I got to do is put a, some duct tape around so I can hold this masking tape into place to keep the rear end formed a little bit so it doesn't all come off when I pull, put the pants on them. Not gonna be perfect, but now here comes the hard part. Gotta trim a little bit. I want this to the stuff to stick out a little bit, so I give them some kind of a a fat look. But this is the hard part now, because I got Tommy's not here. He's working, so he's not gonna be able to help me with this. I got to get these legs up in the air and get uh, the, these legs through the pants, and then if I can uh, work, make the knees up, 
if I can, I'm going to have to make the knees up and then put the pants on. I'm going to, I'd rather do it when the pants are on. That way I don't have to fart around with long legs struggling with them, you know. Front. This way. No, that's the back. I would put the it's gotta go this way. This way. Try to do it because I don't want to do it with the big knees in there, because I'm not allowed to never get the thing in there. To get the big knees go through here all right, but when you're trying to put the pants on, it's not easy. Not as big of an ass as I thought it was going to be. I still don't have the belt. I have to go to Salvation Army and get the belt if I can find one. And uh, then I want to screw the pants to the uh, plastic housing here. And uh, screws will be hidden under the belt. That's my method to my madness. And I can work on the knees here quite well. Not out of the woods yet. We still gotta close this up. Mm. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. Well, 